So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to be diving into a topic that affects us all, fear and anxiety. But what if I told you that you could just turn your fear into excitement in just five seconds? Well stick around because I'm going to be sharing a life-changing technique that's helped me and maybe can help you too. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Nick and here on my channel I explore methods to help our self-improvement and make our lives more balanced with greater productivity and happiness. So let's get real for a second. Fear. It's everywhere. It's in our relationships, our work, even our hobbies. And it can be quite paralyzing, right? So maybe you're scared of flying and it's keeping you from exploring the world. Or perhaps you're terrified of public speaking and that's stifling your career. Point is, fear is real. And it's limiting us in so many different ways. So what exactly is fear? Well, it's a physical state and it's actually identical in our bodies to excitement. Your heart races, you sweat. You might even feel a tightening in your chest. Your body is basically preparing for action. but Here's the thing, the difference between fear and excitement is actually all in your head. And your brain can either be your ally or your enemy in these situations. Now you've probably heard people say things like, just stay calm, think positive thoughts. But guess what? Most of the time that actually doesn't really work. When you're afraid, your body is in a high arousal state and it's almost impossible to go from that state down to a calm, low arousal state instantly. Research even shows that trying to suppress or ignore your fears can sometimes actually make them worse. So what's the solution? Well, here's a strategy and it's helped me conquer my fears and it involves a five second rule and what I call the anchor thought. When you feel fear creeping in, count to five. This interrupts your fear cycle and puts you back in control. And then focus on that thought, positive thoughts related to what you're afraid of. This kind of reprograms your brain to associate the physical symptoms with excitement rather than fear. So let's think about a few examples. So let's say you're about to board a plane and you're absolutely terrified of flying. So that anchor thought could be the joy of meeting the family at your destination that you've not seen in years. Or maybe you're about to ask your boss for a raise. And think about how great and feel it will be when they say yes. So when fear strikes, slowly count to five and then focus on that positive thought. And you'll be amazed at how quickly your fear turn into excitement. Now, you're probably thinking that sounds a bit too simple. And the truth is really overthinking can be our worst enemy when it comes to fear. The more we think about the fear, the more we dwell on it, the more paralyzing it actually becomes. And let's not forget the risks of indecision. Sitting on the fence can lead to missed opportunities and regrets. So the next time you're faced with a fear-inducing situation, try giving this technique a try instead of getting stuck in the loop of overthinking. So the next time fear or anxiety is gripping you, just remember, count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Focus on that anchor thought. Tell yourself you're excited. Think of the positive. It can be a game changer. So if you've tried this technique and it's worked for you, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. And also, if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, just remember, don't be afraid, be excited, and I'll see you soon.